Shalom, shalom, peace and blessings to all you guys out there. Okay, one of the must-have foods in this house is sushi. And in Houston, it's not extremely difficult to find, but it's definitely very expensive. So we have semi-learned to make it. And I wanted to show you guys um, how to put this together. So while we were in New York, because one thing I can't find kosher in Houston is nori. It's very difficult. So while we were in New York, we bought a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And the great thing about sushi is you can make it part. It's really good for Shabbos. It's good for really just every day. Um, all right, let's get started. There's all kinds of different sushis that you can make. The one we're gonna make today um, is simply a par of sushi. It's carrots, cucumber, avocado, of course the nori, and white rice. Now, I know a lot of people, I've been told you have to use a very particular rice, but I have been using white rice since I started making this sushi. And again, this is a great opportunity to get the kids involved. Wow, look at this. They, they can cut the carrots, the cucumbers, and the avocado. And if you're gonna, I wanted to show you first, um, this is the, the nori I buy. It's stark, it has a stark hay hexure. Um, that way, if you guys are wondering uh, which type of nori is kosher. So if you don't have a pressure cooker, you really should invest in one. It makes perfect, perfect rice. Um, I just wanted to show you guys really quick. I've already seasoned my rice. I just put a little bit of pepper, but if you can see how fluffy this rice is, it's absolutely amazing. It's nice and sticky, just the way you need it for the sushi. Forgot to tell you guys, um, you also need this bamboo mat, which you can get at really just anywhere. I use saran wrap to um, saran wrap it, that way to keep it mess free. <laughs> okay, so you're just gonna get the nori, and the nori has two sides, um, and I've already put my gloves on, I'm gonna have to take it off and one side is a little bit rougher, you wanna use the rougher side and the shiny side um, should be on the bottom. Um, so I've experimented many ways, but the best way I found um, is just to get a little bit of rice. Don't over put rice. That's what I was doing in the beginning and it really didn't work out. <laughs> so you don't have to put too much rice in here. I wish I could give you the precise measurements, but I'd be lying. I don't know the precise measurements. Maybe I should, maybe I should get like a cup or something and try it. What do you guys think? <laughs> just to see. <laughs> okay, so you can put, um, according to your taste, uh, some seasonings on here, but I've already seasoned the rice with salt and pepper while it was cooking. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is put the cucumber, and look at that. The cucumber fit perfect long ways. Then I'm going to put the carrot and it's not long enough, so I'm gonna have to put another piece. All right, awesome. And then we're gonna put the cucumber. Normally we cut the cucumber a little bit more organized. Off Sholem was cutting, so we can blame him for the cucumber being a little bit <laughs> offset. But it doesn't matter, it all, it all works. It all comes into the sushi. And there we go. Okay, so then comes the difficult part. You're gonna to have to get the sushi, push everything in, the nori to the bottom. Can you bring the camera in so they could see? You're gonna push, there you go. And you wanna make sure that Everything is getting in down at the bottom. It might look a little messy, then you're gonna wrap like this. And you wanna keep going. Some stuff might come out, that's okay, that's okay. It's not, it's not such a bad thing. <laughs> then, once you have it like this, it's okay, some of that came out. You wanna kind of firmly, firmly tighten it. Just like so. You're gonna open it just to see how the roll is. 
Okay, so we see the bottom there. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. I'm gonna tighten it some more. Pick it up. Kind of squeeze. And I'm giving it quite a grip, actually. I'm, I'm gripping pretty good. I think we should be good right here. Okay, so now let's see what we have, how our roll is doing. You're gonna have a little bit of stuff that came out of the sides. Okay, look at that, perfect. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful roll right there. Can you show them? All right, perfect. Okay, so that's how you make a sushi roll. And then to cut it, you're just gonna get this to the side. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated. I don't have a sushi knife. I'm going to go get one. I need to go get one. I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to make a California roll. It's very, I think that's what it's called. I think California style sushi. <laughs> okay, so it's very simple. You're just gonna get the rice, but you don't want a thick layer, okay? You're gonna press it down uh, onto the sushi. You wanna leave a small area up here. And this, it's a little bit time consuming because you kinda have to fill a lot of area, a lot of space. It's basically, to me, sushi reversed. <laughs> Which one do you like better, the California rose or the regular sushi? California, California. Oh, wow. I prefer regular. Okay, I didn't know there was, I guess we're split in the house. <laughs> and it's called Really? Is it? Okay, so it's called California Roll. That was me. Yeah, what are your favorite sushi? Avocado. I already knew Al Shalom's is avocado. Tomato? I have a unique flavor yeah, on sushi. Really I like pickled sushi. Yes, yeah, so Shmariahu was telling me today about making some pickled sushi. I've never, I've never made that. it. That's kind of different, but it sounds sounds good. Sounds, new. sounds interesting. Sounds exciting. <laughs> sounds adventurous. <laughs> Very adventurous. <laughs> I have to say, uh, Shmariahu is our adventurous one, so. We get a lot of adventure. Um, could you give me some carrot and cucumber? There you go. All right. Then we're just gonna put our carrot, okay, and our cucumber, which cucumber was perfect. Cucumber seems to be always the longest. Oh, wait, wait, I'm so sorry. What are wait, we doing? We, we doing? thought we were making a regular row. <laughs> no, no, it goes there. So now you might think this is the scariest part. It's actually not. I'm gonna show you guys. The rice isn't going anywhere. You're just gonna flip it upside down. Kind of give it a little pat down so it'll be nice and firm. It scares me every time. Now we're gonna put our cucumber. Is this also called cucumber now? And our carrot. <laughs> the boys are laughing because they said I said um, avocado for cucumber. <laughs> Cucumber for avocado. Oh wait, the opposite. See, my words are backwards today. It's it's air of Shabbos. We're getting ready for Shabbos. We like to have everything ready, and you know how it is when you're thinking of all your menu and everything you have. And um, by the way, good air of Shabbos. <laughs> okay, so this is very simple. Okay. Not difficult at all. You're just going to wrap this around just like so and tuck it under very tightly. There we go. And then you're going to use your mat to roll, roll. And I'm running out of space, so I need to back up. And then you're going to roll, roll row <laughs> your boat <laughs> row your sushi <laughs> okay so our sushi should be rolled somewhat okay perfect perfect now i know some people don't but there's no rise on the very bottom and i like to have it 
covered with rice completely. So I just add rice. You don't have to. You can just leave it um, empty on the bottom and you'll just have the nori on the bottom. But I like to cover it. Or some people do know how to cover the nori perfectly so they don't have to do this step. But I'm not a chef. <laughs> So, uh, this is just Cohen home cooking. <laughs> we just throw it together. <laughs> A lot of the time. <laughs> we just like showing our adventure, that's all it is. <laughs> okay, okay, it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it like, what's that? Roll it like a pancake? Flip it up. Turn it around. Roll it like a tortilla. <laughs> Tortillas aren't rolling, are they? Burrito. You, you roll Burrito. them out. Oh. <laughs> you roll them out with the rolling pin. Okay, so here we go. It's looking really nice. I think it needs a little work here. Definitely. There we go. And then we're going to roll this up. Yeah. Really, really easy. That looks really good. And squeeze it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. From this angle. I'm squeezing stuff out. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, all right. So I think our California row is ready to be displayed out. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so what I do, I'm gonna do it on here because I can just throw this stuff out. You don't have to, but we like to add some poppy seed and sesame seed. This is completely, completely optional. Oh, I may have just over poppied it. If you were to put it on the, the, that, you could just roll the sushi and pick it up. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. Look at that. You're right. Look at that. Optional. Wow. Optional could be the chef. He just came up with a really good idea. Okay, so then I'm going to get some sesame seed. I don't know what kind you guys use at your personal house, but I love, love, love Lieber's. Um, they make so many kosher things. It's really, really simple to find kosher uh, products with them. And I think most of the kosher stores have their products in stock all the time. Okay, so now we have our California roll ready, 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 ready. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. I'm gonna give it one more tightening. All right. Can you bring the camera so you can show them? I think California rolls have more. To Look them. at this, wow. Absolutely delicious. Okay, very That's good. Poppy tea. That's a lot of it. <laughs> There's enough. There's enough, there's enough. Okay, all right. Okay, now to cut it. I think this is more difficult to cut, but I have just about half a space on my tray. I'm gonna use that for this one. Okay. Probably gonna need about half. <laughs> so again, with my paring knife, because I don't have a sushi knife. Not yet. If we have time before Shabbos, I think I'm gonna go buy a sushi knife. Yeah, okay, all right, so. Oh, so here we go. We're gonna go like this. Oh, almost. Let's see, is that half? About half. Just about. Not <laughs> bad. <laughs> All right, perfect. Perfect. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, okay, cut. perfect. Wow, look at this. This is the scariest one to cut because I feel like if you cut it wrong, it's gonna all just fall apart. <laughs> I don't think that should happen with sushi though. It doesn't, it rarely happens. Believe me, the rice is extremely sticky. I know it's so nerve wracking, but the rice really holds together well. And again, I'm not using um, the normal, I believe it's called jasmine rice. I'm just using regular white rice, um, which is not sushi. Well, from what I've understood, it's not really the rice preferred for sushi. Okay, look at this. Wow. You have to see this roll. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. Look at the sides. Just delicious. Okay. 
very good. And you can, you can, you know, if they come kind of apart, you can hold tightly and, and re-roll if you need to. But as you see, we're easily picking them up and putting them in. It's a very, very simple process. Wow, these look absolutely delicious. We're trying everything not to eat them. We kind of just want to... And I figured out that California... We started cutting our sushi, and I know there is a lot of techniques. I'm sure somebody could teach me a technique. But the way I go about it is I try to cut somewhat in the middle, um, and I'm just using a paring knife. I, Like I said before, I don't have a sushi knife. I do that and then I turn to the middle. But I wanna show you guys, look inside there. It looks absolutely amazing. You can see the row, it's perfect in there. Then I turn like this and it's pretty much half and half. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna make a mark here where I think is another half. And then I'm gonna cut through. Perfect, then I'm gonna do here. Another, again, I'm just guesstimating, okay? And then I'm gonna do here. And there we go. We have cut our sushi. I have a, a nice tray right here, if I don't drop it. <laughs> okay, can you bring the camera off, Shalom? I wanna show them um, how I do this. I usually put at the ends, the end ones kind of in the middle. Um, but you can put them either way. I put them in the middle, then I put the middles, which are really usually the very nice rolled ones, kind of here, just like so. Oh, this one still isn't cut completely. So you might have one that you didn't completely Roll right, but for the most part, you're gonna get perfect, perfect, perfect little sushi. Then we're gonna do this. The end ones seem to be a little bit longer, so um, you can kind of push them down just a hair. Uh, and to repair these, you can just rewrap like that. But it really, it's up to you as far as presentation goes. But this is more or less how this looks, and this is what the sushi looks like. We've put everything on trays. Wow, look at that, delicious. They're not completely even or perfect. You can do that by simply buying a sushi knife, but it tastes good either That's way. That's all we have. <laughs> so. Work with what you got. You just have to work with, with what you have. Okay guys, thanks so much. Have a wonderful and beautiful, beautiful Chavez.